Hello everybody, my name is Cool Blonde. I'm bringing you guys special cast number two, and this thing is crooked. Oh my god, look at that. Alright, hold on, hold on. And it, it looks so lonely, look at it. It's like special cast all by itself. But anyway, it's special cast number two featuring once again uh, Nestle Dota. Uh, this, I'm, uh, I went straight into the next game that he was playing. Uh, hopefully he doesn't mind me casting the second one, but this will be the last one that I cast for the night because I know that I need to find my headphones, I need to finish up my homework, and also need to drink some more water because being dehydrated is not fun. I actually had that happen to me once. I had a serious headache. It was not fun. I survived. I survived, but Jesus, man, it was, it was horrible. It was like, it was like, oh, oh, okay. Um, so me personally, I do not drink. I do not drink alcohol. I do not do any of that, but... I'm pretty sure if I did drink and I had a serious hangover, that's exactly what it'll feel like. Because when you do have a hangover, you're just basically dehydrated. And that was the definition of what I was. So anyway, all that aside, all that aside, enough about me. Uh, these guys are jumping right back into a game. Like I said, I'm following up from the last special cast, number one, that you guys saw. Uh, it's actually going to be pretty cool. Especially if I can get uh, many more connections from these guys and just like do special cast all over the place. So I have another, yet another series going on. Almost permanently delaying my uh, random podcast number 30 because like I told you guys before as soon as I hit random podcast number 30 I will be jumping into doing a technical technically Dota series Just to talk about a few things and oh my gosh, this is a random game I recognize this so these guys were all random. It's gonna be a fun match to watch indeed It's uh, always interesting to see what they match up with Hopefully we, hopefully we will see that carry pugna carry pugna OP. Oh my gosh basically Dagon carry pugna is ridiculous for battle so these guys are still picking up their people. I'm going to do introductions on the side of the, the... I don't know which side yet. Medusa's not up yet, so I can't really do true introductions. As soon as Medusa gets up, we'll be able to jump right in and do the introductions. And these headphones are so bad. Jesus. Oh yeah, um, by the way, I still haven't found my headphones. If you guys are following up from the, right, um, from the last video, I still haven't got a chance to go breathe and pick out those headphones so I'm constantly shifting through my emergency headphones to see if I can or see if any one of them works a little bit better than these ones I got right now like I said these ones are the ones that stick in your ear I don't like those at all because it basically makes me deaf and then I have to yell so I can hear myself talking the whole entire radius I just pick up so let me go ahead and do your introductions on their side we have Bjorn on that dark seer uh, we have MF F Griven God fuck on that brewmaster. I will not be saying that again. Uh, we have Johnny B Code or Johnny B Good. Sorry, Johnny B Good on that witch doctor. We have Anna Roth on that l silencer. And last but not least, we have Jeffin Jeffinas Jeffins uh, of Doom on that Enigma. Moving on to the dire side, since we're all finally picked up. Oh my gosh, we got Meepo. Holy crap. Uh, we got Nino on that on that Beastmaster. We have at Mesmeri or at Mesmerize, sorry, at Mesmerize on that drawer. You definitely, definitely check them out as always with these uh, well, special casts too. Uh, if they have at symbol, definitely check them out. Tell them cool blue since you tell them what's up. And anyway, moving on to, moving on to the Weaver. We have Blossom loves all on that Weaver, and we have LOL trash on that uh, Meepo. Hopefully we'll see a good meepo out of him. And last but not least, of course, we have the man of the hour. We have Twitch TV slash Nestle Dota, the one who invited me to, well, invited me to the last game, not necessarily this one. But definitely big shout out to him. Uh, definitely go check out his Twitter page, or definitely check out his Twitch page if you like his play. Uh, he does, he does, he does frequently do uh, podcast, or he does frequently cast, I'm trying to, what I'm trying to say. So definitely go check him out if you guys appreciate his cast. Anyway, we got, uh, Weaver in a little bit of trouble. Weaver will be able to walk away soon. He's gonna try to do as much damage as he can to the Witch Doctor. He could not do enough damage, so Witch Doctor's able to walk away with his life intact. And now Weaver's gonna have to pop a salve, or he doesn't have a salve. Weaver's gonna eat a few more trees. Uh, like I said, this was, this was all random, so these guys did start with extra gold. So you will see some completed items. Typically items that I would probably complain about, but... Two things. One, this is a random game, so they extra gold. And two, these guys definitely know what they're doing more than me, so I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> anyway, Meepo's gonna go ahead and poof to himself, do a little bit of damage to the creep wave, get some farm. Why not? It's a really good farming tool. Um, I'm actually really interested to see what this Meepo does, because I have I have pretty much yet to see a Meepo in any type of competitive play, outside of well, okay, outside of the pubs that I've been in. So I have yet to cast a Meepo. Actually, I have yet to cast a lot of people, but that's besides the point, guys. Anyway, Pugna's walk around the corner. Pugna throws down the what is it called? Nether blast. Yeah, Nether blast on top of Darkseer and the creeps. I think he was able to get a last hit with that. I'm not too sure. And now Darkseer's illusions are gone. He's all alone. He's gonna go ahead and run away. Sadly, 
that Iron on shell sound like he's crying. Listen to it, it's like, oh, never mind. It went away. So now he's really lonely. He no longer has his crying shell. Oh, sorry, Iron shell. But anyway, um, taking a look at the last into the nines, if we take a look at those, we can see that Enigmas is at the top of that. He is in the jungle. He is having free form in the jungle. This is not all that unusual. So, I mean, that's something common to see in Beastmaster is stacking up the Ancients. He has a Soul Ring, a very fast Soul Ring in that. And he's destroying these Ancients. That's only level 1. That's only level 1 Wild Axis. Actually, no. Okay, I forgot again. Yes, this is definitely a random game. So, cool. Into second pass. Cool. I'm going to continue untangling these headphones so I can have a better listening experience because mine's is pretty darn miserable. Darn it. Okay. Unpause comes in. Silencer wants to keep going, so he will keep going. Let's go ahead and keep casting this game. Uh, Brewmaster goes ahead and throws it in eye. I mean, it's not really much going on. I guess uh, one thing I can't look at is definitely the Observer Wars placed by the Dire. Weaver wants to be as safe as possible. He blocks his pole camp so that way they won't be able to force him into anything that he doesn't want to go to. And meanwhile, we got a Gizmo on top. We got the net thrown on top of Darkseer. Darkseer is going to do a little damage back to these guys. Uh, he won't be able to get out of this alive. There's a poop from Meepo making sure he gets a kill, and there he goes. He goes down. It's a first blood for Meepo. Meanwhile, Joe Ranger's taking a lot of damage mid. What are you doing, Joe Ranger? Go home, Joe Ranger. You're drunk. Uh, she, she ate a maledict from that witch doctor. And she's going to go ahead and take the rest of those charges. She will be able to survive. She did not take enough damage to kill her. But still, still uh, more more damage than she probably wanted to take. She has, uh, she's going to go ahead and pop this out. What item is she going to be building for next? I don't know. Probably, um, probably boots. Maybe not. Who knows? Meanwhile, Witch Doctor walks up to the top hill. He sees a Weaver. Weaver's going to go as aggressive as possible on top of him. Will he be able to get the kill? I think he will be able to. One more Gemini attack. There we go. Gemini attack. Able to get the kill. And now he's in a little bit of trouble. He will be able to Sakuchi out here relatively soon. He Sakuchi's away. Brewmaster does not have enough mana for another clap. So he got a perfectly fine. And meanwhile, Beastmaster is just going to continuously farm these Ancients. That's what he does. That's what he can do. Those Wild Axes do hit through Magic Immunity. So why not? Why not go ahead and kill those things? Anyway, so Weaver is going to go eat a few trees. He, um, he did come into his lane with a lot of regen. He came, with, he came into his lane with six tangos and one healing salve, I think. That was a lot of regen. That basically means he won't be as aggressive as possible. And, oh my god, Brewmaster might be able to get a kill. If this comes off cooldown, no. A little too much, or not enough mana. If he would have had enough mana for that, Weaver would have definitely went down. Uh, in invisibility or not. And I almost got his headphones untangled, so barrel through for a second, people. Invisibility. All right, cool. They're untangled. Sweet. Nope. Okay, they tangled again. These things will never get untangled. Are you kidding me? It's like they they invent headphones just to tangle themselves. But anywho, at any rate, let me go ahead and take a look at these items. Or no, not items. Uh, gold graph, because the gold graph will be telling the tale of who's really in the lead. I personally think it'll be the radiant because the niggas will have a free jungle. As you can see, yes, it is a radiant. They also had the first blood plus the next kill. But the dire are definitely catching up as far as farm goes. Yeah, so that's not good at all for them. Uh, moving on down to the bottom, I see a TP coming down bottom from somebody. Go away, Graf. I see a TP coming down bottom from the Weaver. Weaver wants to be back in his lane. Did he? No, he did not die. He had to run back home so he can heal up. And I see somebody in the jungle hanging out around the corner. Who is that? That is Pugna. Pugna just wants to get ready for a stack. And he knows that Darkseer is probably looking for him around the corner. Darkseer goes in and blocks that camp just by being there. Because when you're in a certain range within that camp, you do block, you do in fact block that spawn. And there's a sentry ward placed down by the panda and witch doctor. They want to go for this kill on top of Weaver. Weaver will finally be going down. His invasion, his cover has been blown. Meanwhile, on top we got a little bit engaged. We got Meepo going on top of Darkseer. Darkseer is getting continuously netted up. Meepo is level 6, so that's one big thing to know. Beautiful micro by him. He's definitely doing the body block thing with the other Meepo. But if this Meepo goes down, it will be bad. No, it doesn't matter. Darkseer goes down to the poof. <laughs> Very good play by that uh, by that Meepo. Definitely much better micro than I would have, of course. My micro is like like bad because my APM is like three. I'm not joking. My APM was like three. Actually, no. Okay, okay. Well, um, when I was playing Starcraft a lot, my APM was actually like something high. Uh, me. Anyway, all that aside, Beastmaster does go down. He does go down to the neutrals. I think he might have got. No, he probably didn't. He just dies to the neutrals. Oh, why not? Just a casual death. Give the neutrals a little bit gold. The neutrals want farm too. And say, um, Witch Doctor is going to come up here, see if he can pick off one, get a free kill, and now he might actually lose his life. Weaver is around the corner trying to see what he can do. It's a haste room for Witch Doctor so he can get away. Swift get away for him, but Weaver can still chase if he really wanted to. And I'm going to turn my volume up just a little bit more. Because unlike the other headphones, these headphones are extremely quiet. Which I think I kind of prefer. So that way I don't have to be yelling too loud. So, I was going to take a look at the experience graph as well. Experience graph is in favor of the Radiant, mainly because, well, Enigma's, in the Enigma's been in the jungle free farming. He's probably the highest level on the map. He has 42 last hits, and Panda's right behind him, and they're on the same team. That's, that's crazy. 
Uh, Panda's down bottom. He ha um, he's been having a fun lane ever since they got some century wars. But anyway, Sancho just being a nuisance on top of that Joe Ranger. He did in fact get a point or max that last word first, so he'd do max damage whenever Joe Ranger comes around the side, and she's gonna eat all of that damage. One more of those, and she's pretty much dead, and she knows it. So she's gonna go ahead and run back as fast as she can. Meanwhile, down bottom, we got him against her. I totally almost missed this. Uh, Panda. Weaver's trying to go on top of Panda. Panda just throws out a clap, and Weaver has to run out. Uh, these guys are a little bit, have a little bit too much HP, and there's a Century Ward on top of Witch Doctor as well. Uh, meanwhile, Meepo's going to go ahead and farm the jungle while, like he can. Um, he can definitely go ahead and stack those camps. He can definitely poof to himself. There we go, two poofs, and the, uh, the, the entire neutral camp is almost dead. And now we got Weaver in a little bit of trouble. The Century Ward was already placed down, so I need to keep him with Invisible. I, think, I don't think it'll be enough. Just barely not enough. Oh my gosh, it does hit. There was another Century Ward up here just for the interception. And Weaver goes down to the auto attack from Witch Doctor. From one Century to another, he still goes down. And woohoo, more lag, right, guys? Because what is a Dota match without lag? So, anyway. Let's see. Volume. I was going to worry about volume. No, you're not volume. Alright, so everything so far has been a little bit more passive than action-packed, but all of that aside, uh, there's a lot of farm on the side of Enigma, which is actually quite ridiculous. And I hear Meepo attacking, but I don't see him attacking. I see Ursa clap, and this is this this is kind of this is some of the lag that destroys me sometimes, people. Like sometimes when I say, "Oh my God, lag," I'm, I'm, I usually only say lag if lag actually happened, and that kind of lag right there would definitely get you killed. I lick Much my obliged. As you guys probably know, meanwhile, uh, let's see who's this Joranja did head down bottom. She might have had an invisibility, invisibility rune on herself, on her, or maybe she was going up for a gank. I don't really know what she was doing down here, but I, long story short, uh, she's going to go ahead and run back to her lane. Beastmaster is going to hold the lane for her for just a little bit. Silencer is here. Silencer is level 8. Oh my gosh, a lot of levels on him. I need to bring up these levels. I'm pretty sure Enigma's the highest level. No, Enigma versus Silencer, and Enigma's in the jungle. Meanwhile, up top, we got Engage. We've got Darkseer getting caught out with the nets. Net's so annoying, and Meepo's probably going to throw another net just to finish him off. Now he's going to throw a poof on top of the other Meepo, not in range, but Pugna is able to get the kill with that Nether Blast. The range of Nether Blast is always a little bit larger than it looks. top tower. So never be afraid to drop it when you chase somebody and they're just barely out of range. You might be able to catch them on the edge of it. <clears throat> Meanwhile, moving on to Weaver. Weaver has himself that Ring of Aquila. He did, in fact, build boots. I have seen Weaver, uh, Weaver in the past that was doing extremely well in his game. He built no boots at all. He's basically max that Sukuchi and just kept running. Anyway, there's a Century Ward down here. Weaver's in a little bit of trouble. He activates the ulti. Make sure he stays alive. And Nick goes around the corner in the jungle. Uh, from the jungle, he does have his ulti, so he will be using it if he has to. And there goes Weaver going invisible. There's no detection on the side of the Radiant. And Weaver will be able to make it out alive only because of his Sukuchi. <laughs> I think despite all that, uh, Nigma didn't really have any, um, any mana to finish off or anything anyway. Uh, meanwhile, Meepo's in the jungle. He's just going to continue farming. Why not? I heard something get thrown out. What was that? I was Pugna. Pugna throwing out the Nether Blast because he can. And Weaver's here in the mid. He's trying to see if he can, he's trying to see if he can get a good angle on top of Silencer. Joe Ranger will need to be here to help him out with a, with a kill, of course. But Silencer can ju just jump into Silence. I don't think he'll be able to survive though if he walks into this river. Just one step into the water, he'll be gone. There's a silencer on top of silencer, and here's Weaver coming from the backside. Silencer's gonna be a little bit trouble. No, doesn't matter. Uh, he is a little bit too far back. He, he moved back just far enough, and Joe Ranger wasn't able to do enough damage to bring him low enough for Weaver to come in for the killing blow. <coughs> Meanwhile, moving back in the jungle. I mean, Enigma's still farming. I think he's trying to build himself that blink dagger. Right now, he has 1,300 gold. Will he be, will he be building that blink dagger soon? I don't really know, but it will be, it's always exciting to see a Blink Dagger. Uh, he has something coming to him, actually. He has a... Uh, what is this? What is... No, that's, that's not him. A Curry coming to a Brewmaster. Brewmaster is building himself that drum. I think... Yeah, he's building a drum. So he has that up on his persons. Okay, just a bracer. It's, it's getting there. He's closer than he was last time, I guess. Meanwhile, Meepo's going to continue to jungle. Meepo, one of the, probably one of the few heroes that can get the most XP possible overall um, all over the map mainly because he's basically hits that level six and then he sends one Meepo clone to farm the jungle he sends himself to farm the lane he can, he's collecting XP from everywhere it's pretty darn ridiculous I see somebody going for um, Roshan and Nick was going for Roshan I don't, th I don't think he can tank it just yet there we go okay he, his idols are going to are going to go tank it there's a silence thrown by silence so he's actually saving the life of Darkseer I think he did it on purpose and Darkseer still might go down to his Weaver Weaver gets pulled back into the tower he just goes ahead and ulties backwards so he's able to make it alive. Meanwhile, Enigma's still trying to do Roshan. Roshan doing a lot of damage since Eidolon. He has a Medallion of Curse, so Medallion Curse definitely helping him out. Well, um, going for that Roshan. 
And now he will back away, pick up some more new idol lines, and then come back in. Meanwhile, Beastmaster is still continuously farming out these ancients. That's pretty much his only source of income. All his levels have pretty much come from this. He only has 15 last hits, and he is level 5. And he has one death on his side, so that definitely means he's only been farming ancients, purely ancients. And now top tower will finally, finally be, 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 finally be, be pushed. There you go. And this Wishstock can come around the corner. Wishstock just catches one Meepo in the cloud, but it doesn't matter. Uh, he's not taking any damage at all. Now Wishstock might be losing his life. He can't throw his ulti. He's going to go ahead and throw his ulti, but it's not enough damage. Weaver just shrugs it off and walks away. Because <coughs> he can. Actually, a few more shots. Uh, if, if Weaver would have had a Malady going, he definitely would have down. And here's his top tower. Probably, well, actually, his top tower will be going down. There's two Meepos here. There's a Pugna who's going to throw on the last hit, and he gets the gold. So gold to him. More gold for you. Nestle Dota. And items, I need to take a look at the items because these things are getting interesting actually on a little bit of games going down bottom. We got Weaver getting caught up by Dark Saber, but Dark he's just able to run away. Suguchi so powerful mainly because it gives you max movement speed and it turns you invisible. It's pretty darn ridiculous. Uh, if we take a look at the items, as far as we can as far as I can see, actually Wish Doctor is definitely playing a supportive role. He doesn't have much of anything. And his well, his lane wasn't really going as well as he probably wanted it to. I think he was down bottom with the Weaver. Or sorry, with the panda. Don't remember. Uh, as far as Silencer goes, Silencer is building that carry style. He's going for that mechanism first. I've seen this a few times. I still don't, I still don't know the logic behind it. Maybe it's just to keep make him more survival, give him that region that people always want. Region is always important, no matter what level of Dota you play at. So maybe that headdress is that, or maybe that's what the mechanism first is before we start building those big items. And we got a little bit of engagement going down bottom one. We got a total almost misses. Uh, we got Jorin going out to the Enigma. I just barely caught the tail end. Uh, he did ulti. He, he did ca catch two. And there's Witch, Witch Doctor's uh, casket bouncing off of two people. TP support coming in from Weaver. We were trying to see what he can do. Panda's around the corner. Panda throws on the clap. And Weaver took a lot of damage for that one hit. I think he just uh, went back to where he came from. Yeah, he just went back to where he ulti back to where he came from. Probably not the... Probably not as far as he wanted to go back, but definitely kept him alive. Uh, he did, like I said, take a lot of damage from that clap from Panda. And Panda didn't even use his ulti just yet, so Panda still has his ulti for the next team fight. He is ready for that next team fight. Meanwhile, Meepo is mid. Meepo is going to go ahead and blink to himself so he can get rid of that last word, because last word goes on top of every single Meepo. I didn't realize that. But it goes on top of every single Meepo, so they all have to, um, they all have to cast in order to get it off of them. Uh, Enigma has himself a blink dagger. Will it become a I just saw He just TP'd out. He has it at home. So Blink Dagger on Enigma, what is he going to be building next? I don't know, he has that ghost, or not ghost, he has that dust up on him. So he can jump in on top of pretty much anybody. Uh, he's probably going to be looking for a Meepo soon. Meepo does have that Vladimir's offering, so he's giving his life, giving a life still to his Meepo clones. He also has that mechanism and those Tranquil Boots, so everybody has a lot of heal on the side of Meepo. Uh, Meepo basically forcing, focusing around keeping his... Well, keeping his clones alive, because if one clone dies, then they all die, and you don't want that to happen, especially when things have been going so well. He is level 11, Dyer's so he has level 2 of the ulti, so he has 2 clones, Dyer's that's total of 3 Meepos. Me Meepos. And the middle tower does go down. Go more mech, please. <laughs> that is, uh, Pugna talking to the... Pugna, I think Pugna's talking to... I don't know, who's talking to? Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we got Roshan being done by the Radiant. They're going to go ahead and go for this. Uh, I don't think there's any vision or anything that can give vision. Well, Beastmaster can't send his Hawk over here until it's scouted out, but I think it'll be way too late. Beastmaster's waiting around the corner. Brewmaster's waiting around the corner to make sure his clarity goes through, to make sure he has enough mana for his big ulti. Or whatever it does break out, he picks up Aegis for himself. <coughs> He, yeah, he has he has more than a drum right now. He has a uh, 3k gold in the bank account. What are you saving up for, Beastmaster or Brewmaster? I don't really know. Hopefully something interesting. Uh, Brewmaster, oh my god, Brewmaster going straight for the Agonist after 3,000 3, gold drop straight on that. So all he need now is that one vitality booster, no, point booster. He needs a point booster. And then once he has that, he has Agonist after his ulti, which I don't think he's used his ulti yet this entire game. His ulti will have a lower cooldown than what it has before and it'll have a lower, uh, longer duration. It'll definitely be more useful, but he can definitely use it in this next team fight, which is about to break out. Uh, the Nether War by Pugna is placed down, so everybody is losing mana. Sans was looking for it, see if he can find it. He sees the Zap, Zap gets thrown out on top of him. He's mad because he can't find it, and Pugna hit that pretty darn well. Uh, Brewmaster does find it, and they're going to go ahead and go for the kill on top of it. Because that thing is nothing to bat an eyebrow. It basically stops your mana regeneration. And also makes you take damage whenever you cast a spell. Which is not good because everybody casts spells. Beastmaster comes in instantly. He throws the ultimate on top of Panda. He does want Panda to split. But Panda does split. This is Silence Thorn by Silencer. It's not fast enough. And there's the... Wait, hold on. Panda... Or, sorry, Silencer's on that side. Uh, we got Dark Tooth throwing on the wall. He's doing it on the vacuum as well. Meepo's doing in the blinks on top of himself. 
That was a very nice combination right there. And everybody, a lot of damage being done to the, undone to the Darks here. And Meepo got caught inside of the Maladic. Oh my gosh, he, he will be going down one way or another. There goes Meepo. Boom. Meepo goes down to the uh, poison from the Witch Doctor. And that team fight definitely went in favor of the Dire. Um, to be honest, I didn't really expect to give it. I, th I thought Radiant were going to win that, but Panda Ulti definitely proven not to be as strong as these guys want, or as, strong, as strong as Radiant wanted it to be. This time was thrown out by Joe, not fast enough. He, <laughs> Panda's going to go for a casual kill on top of Pugna. He's going to see if he can try to run away. Weaver's going to play spot, or play point for the Joe Ranger. Joe going to do as much damage as possible. There's a miss on top of Joe Ranger, so be, um, Panda can try to get away. Panda has a Weaver thing on him. Sir, a Weaverling. A Weaverling on him. He's going to try to deny himself to rush on, but he already killed it. But no, it doesn't matter. He goes down to the Weaver. Weaver follows up with that Sakuchi. Sakuchi does 150 damage for everybody that passes through, which is more than enough Which is more than enough damage to kill the Panda. So Aegis was popped. Team fight was lost. Ulti by Panda was used. Panda is set back on his Aghanim Scepter. He only has 500 gold right now. I'm pretty sure he could. He probably could have bought it <coughs> while he stayed, uh, after the Aegis popped. Maybe he just wanted to save his gold. I don't really know. But all that aside, Meepo is level 13. So he's about to get to a stage where he's just uncontrollable. Uh, I think he does have a tornado stick. No, he doesn't have a tornado stick. He got tornadoed by somebody, which definitely helped him out. Let's see, who has a tornado stick? Oh, Panda, Panda. Okay, Panda threw a tornado on top of him. Cool. So Panda did throw a tornado on top of his Wish Doctor with a beautiful cast. He's going to go for the ult on top of Joe Ranger. Mechanism was popped by Meepo to try to keep her alive, but it doesn't matter. Uh, Meepo blinks in. Oh my gosh, look at that net. I think that was like one net. Call all those creeps. But it was the wrong thing. They wanted the Darkseer, not the creeps. And Darkseer throws on the wall. That thing, did he just use that like three seconds ago? Anyway, net thrown by Meepo. Not fast enough. And now Meepo will be going down. This clone is gone. And there goes the rest of the Meepos. So dangerous when you play Meepo because if one Meepo gets caught out, they're all going down. So you definitely got to pay close attention to all of those things. Anyway, uh, who's this Beastmaster coming around the corner? And Nigma blinks forward. He's trying to see if he can catch a Beastmaster, but no, not fast enough. He does not, ha or he does have a stun. Thing. I think it was going cool down when he jumped in. But all that aside, uh, he's building himself a BKB so that way, he, whenever he does ult, go in and ulti, it will be doing a lot of damage. And now Pugna, Pugna's going to go ahead and push his top lane because that's what Pugna does. Pugna is a pusher. In particular, the items real quick, we see Panda still trying to build himself the Aghanim Scepter. We can also see what other big items. Starting from the top, we see Witch Doctor with Phase Boost, so he finally has something to help him do a little bit of damage and get away a little bit faster and help his team out, really. Because Phase Boost on Witch Doctor can make him move faster so he can throw out the stun just that much faster. Moves the Silencer. Silencer has a mechanism. He also has those treads, so he is, he is in fact, building that carry style Silencer. I'm assuming, no, okay, May maybe not, I don't really know. It uh, could be support, it could be carry. Actually, now the thing about it, he has he kind of has to be the carry on his team. Panda can't carry forever. <clears throat> Although Panda is playing that carry Radiant's role at the moment. Uh, moving on to Enigma. Enigma, like I said, he's building himself that he's building himself that BKB. So he'll have that up and he'll be able to ulti inter uninterrupted. The only person who can stop him is nobody. Maybe Jory. No, no. The only person that can stop him is a Meepo because Meepo can throw a net on top of him. I think I'm pretty sure that net goes through BKB or just Magic Immunity, which I could be pretty annoying for him to be honest. Because there's like four nets that like Meepo, or once Meepo reaches level 16. <coughs> anyway, Cass gets thrown on top of Jorange. Jorange gets back in, back in. There's a Century War place over here, so she's fought it. They will be going for it. Oh my gosh, there's another Century War place uh, as well. They're trying to get this kill on Jorange. Jorange's Shadow Walk, or Shadow Blade is about to run out. And there it goes. It runs out. She goes down to the Darkseer. So he's happy about that kill. And Weaver is silenced. Where did you get silenced by Weaver? Weaver got silenced by Silencer. Lols, of course. Who else was silenced by Weaver? Dada Silencer. But wait, Jorange is getting caught out a little bit. She got a little bit overzealous when she built that Shadow Blade. And I think I mentioned this point once before. Like, definitely watch out when you're playing with those Shadow Blades. Because if you have a Shadow Blade, and you, um, it makes you feel more confident about going in for those quick kills. But you can still get caught out if somebody just has detection. As you see, Jorange was a sitting duck because, one, there was a lot of support for, I think it was the Witch Doctor or whoever she was trying to go for. And two, there was a lot of detection on their side. So they were able to catch up to her. So definitely be wary of that. So now Jorange has to play a little bit careful because er she knows that everybody knows that sh she knows that everybody else knows that she knows that they know that we know that they know that she knows that they have detection or she has a shadow blade. So they have detection for that. So she has to, she just has to play a little bit more careful. That's pretty much all I'm trying to say. Uh, Beastmaster does have that hawk scout now over in the mid ground trying to see, or just out down the mid lane trying to see what's around the corner. I heard a nigga was a medallion used. He's trying to kill stuff in the jungle, trying to get more farm so he can get that BKB up just that much faster. He has the mithril hammer right now. He has 1600 gold, so he has enough gold for that. Will he be buying it? I don't really know. He definitely can. No reason not to. 
<clears throat> Meanwhile, Dyer are going to go ahead and do a three-man push on this bottom tower. And Raiden are going to start rotating towards him. There's a TP coming in from the Witch Doctor, so he, he can hurry up and get in position. Sancho's ulti is off cooldown. Actually, all ulties are off cooldown right now, except for Panda. Panda has, oh, Panda's ulti is off cooldown, but he doesn't have mana for it yet. Which is actually another thing to point out. Uh, usually, sometimes you see a Panda wait a long time before he gets the Aghanim Scepter, mainly because he wants to build some form of mana regeneration before he gets that. Because if he doesn't have mana for his ulti, the Aghanim Scepter wasn't really worth it. So right now he has just barely enough mana for his ulti. He will be able to just use that, and that'll probably be just enough for his team to get that team or get into those big team fights and probably win it. And we continue down the item list. So we see the panda. Like I said, Agnes after he still he still has that drum. He still hasn't bought that drum recipe, but that's taking the back seat to well whatever else he's trying to build. I'm not really I'm not really sure what he's trying. Maybe he's trying to finish up that drum now. Right now, he only, he only has 650 gold, so 100 more gold, and he'll have that. And we got the military tower being pushed by Dyer. Uh, who is this pushing? This is Weaver pushing it, so Weaver can push pretty effectively. He has that Yasha up on him, so he's doing a lot of damage, and he's also moving pretty fast. And we got a lot of people up here top. We will be seeing a fight pretty darn soon. Beastmaster is waiting to see if he can line up the perfect roar. He does have a blink there, so he can't blink in roar. And that will pretty much start the team fight. We got a courier for Radiant running over here. Weaver, I think Weaver might have saw it. I don't really know. But Darkseid picks himself up something. What did Darkseid pick up? Darkseid, what did you pick up? Darkseid picks himself up a gem and a pipe. So he's able to have that for his team. And now this guy's going to completely back away. Uh, Meepo catches the bottom tower. And now all, this is, all his uh, clones are going to be over here hanging out. I think Enigma might just ulti. No, Enigma doesn't have mana for it. But Meepo does go down on the backside despite him actually getting away. I think the original Meepo was over here. And all the other Meepos were stuck over here. They couldn't, they couldn't really uh, poof away. Because if they would have tried, then Enigma would have just ulti them. And caught all, caught all of them, killed one, and it'll definitely been worth it. Anyway, uh, we got a little bit of engagement going on down bottom. We got the wa vacuum wall thrown out by the Darks here, and the world thrown on top of Panda. Panda will be ulti, and Panda has to. No, okay, there we go. Panda has to ulti. I was about to say, no, he just died, but no, Panda, um, they bait out the ulti, so Panda has. Uh, Panda's ulti is used. He's going to throw out stone. He's going to go for the kill on top of Pugna. Pugna, run, run, you fool, run. But no, okay, oh my gosh, Pugna's going to sap all the HP from that. Ember Spear, but it doesn't really matter. Ember Spear is standing alive, and everybody was doing too much damage. Panda throwing a nice little laugh. Uh, Beastmaster gets hit with a stone, and now Beastmaster is going to, or not Beastmaster, Brewmaster is going to be out of here. Uh, Beastmaster is going to go ahead and follow up. They know Panda's low, and Panda does go down. So a very lagtastic fight, but nonetheless, definitely, definitely well fought on both sides. Uh, it obviously went in favor of the Radiant, because all they, uh, obviously went in favor of the Dire, because all they lost was a Pugna. And I think, uh, did Beastmaster get that kill? No, Weaver got the kill, so Weaver gets more farm, more farm for him. Actually, I'm going to take a look at the net worth real fast. As far as the net worth goes, every time. As far as the net worth goes, we see Weaver is at the top of that, so he's getting all those big items that he wants. Uh, he's building himself what looks to be an MKB. He has that Demon Edge. MKB is so good on Weaver because Weaver has a Gemini, not Germanite, but Gemini. Yes, Gemini attack. So he can attack twice, so he has a higher chance of proccing that MKB than most other, carry, most other agility carries. Maybe because one, not only does he attack fast, but two, he gets a nice little double attack in one of his attacks. So, MKB definitely a higher chance of proccing. He could potentially be going for a Chrysalis just to prove me wrong, because that's what they usually do. But anyway, Joe Ranger is hanging out on the corner. Joe Ranger has a Shadow Blade so she can run away. Uh, she just turned to Vils to make sure she got away. And there's a gem on the side of the... Wait, did they drop the gem? Yes, the gem, ha the gem has changed hands. Joe Ranger now has a gem because Darkseer did die. So Joe Ranger with the gym, she's pretty happy. She can go D ward and kill all the Central Wars that she wants. She can also make sure that she's not being spotted. So definitely a good candidate to have that gym. Oh no, I, th um, I, I think just 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 a point, a perfect point out. I think I um, named before. Uh, basically, like uh, a lot of times when you see like, or and some of my other videos always complain about um, the players, especially the relatively new player. Hold on, we got Weaver in a little bit of trouble. There's a Central War place now, so Weaver's gonna be a lot of trouble. He will be going down one way or another. He was not even able to throw out his ulti to get HP back. He just goes down instantly. He just melts. But anyway, like I was saying, um, one thing I always complain about whenever I see a, like a viewer replay cast and some like you know, the guys are relatively new, so they have like healing styles and clarity potions. Uh, Seventy minutes into the game, or twenty minutes, twenty-five minutes, thirty minutes into the game, whatever, whatever amount of time you will put. Just basically, if if you still have those within the first ten minutes and you're continuously buying those and you're doing something wrong, but in the case of Joranger, Joranger is only doing it because she wants to stay alive, uh, mainly because she has a tranquil boost, so she has that region, so I can't complain about that. And she, all she has is a, just one healing salve, which is just one little 100 gold that could potentially save her life if a big fight team fight breaks out. Now the reason why I ran, I ran on it so much with uh, people who are still new to Dota is because they're not doing it because of that 
specific reason they're basically buying 50 healing cells because that's the only source of region they have Jorin has she has her she has a tranquil boost so she can use those uh, to heal up passively she also has that regeneration coming from those tranquil boosts so she has that three region on her persons uh, but the healing cells is only just in case because she doesn't really have any other items she's, I think she's trying to go straight for that butterfly so that's just a basic basic burst heal if she needs it so if a team fight does break, or she does get caught out again like you guys saw before because they had detection, if she does get caught out again, she'll be able to run away and then probably pop that healing salve and potentially stay alive. But anyway, uh, these guys are dire are going to go ahead and do Roshan. We got Meepo, Meepo alone, Meepo plus Boar doing Roshan. I think Roshan is at minimal or lowest movement attack speed. That's ridiculous. And there's Roshan going down. Roshan does go down. Meepo picks it up, so now Meepo will be able to die twice or die Five times, four times, because he doesn't have Agonist after, so he'll be able to die four times. Or eight times. Wait. I don't know. He, um, they'll all be able to die twice, so you got two of them times. I don't know. I, I don't feel like doing the math. That's like two times four. That's, that's too high of a number, guys. It's, it's been too long, guys. I can't do math anymore. Anyway, as far as the items go, particularly the items, we can see that there's a BKB up on Enigma, so he's happy about that item choice. And what else is there? There's big, uh, Sounds just trying to build himself a sheep stick by the looks of it, or possibly build himself a Scotty. You can build it, why not? And now we got Weaver might be getting caught out. They do know he's over there. And now they know that they can't really catch up with him. There's no other form of Okay, there's a Dust on Brewmaster, so that's a really good item for him to have for that Joe Ranger and for that Weaver. And now they see the Hawk. Beastmaster is going to go get free 65 gold and going to run away. He's happy that he got that. That's bringing him closer and closer to whatever next item he's going to be building. Since you place down mid by that Enigma. Or maybe that, I don't know who it was. And now, oh my gosh, we got Weaver in a little bit of trouble. Silence, silence to throw on silence. And Weaver is getting hit consistently with that, uh, with that Malefice. And now here's Panda coming around the corner. Panda will pop. The, no, he will not pop the dust. Okay, he will pop the dust, but Weaver's a little bit too far away. And Pugna placed the uh, ward somewhere. There it is. Pugna placed another ward over there. To basically try to shoot off as many of the Radiant they can. Uh, Radiant don't really want to engage right now because Silencer's ulti is on cooldown. I think Panda... No, Panda has his ulti. Darkseer has his ulti as well. But Silencer's ulti is really good for engaging and disengaging the fight. In this, per in this instance, Silencer's ulti is really good for disengaging the fight. Because you have so many better or so many other uh, initiation spells, you have a uh, Darkseer who can jump in, vacuum wall everybody in. Uh, you have Enigma who can jump in and black hole after Darkseer black vacuum walls everybody. And you have Panda who has his ulti to initiate the fight. So Silencer's ulti is really just for that counter initiation, just to make sure that uh, if somebody does get caught out, he can just use it and everybody can survive. So they probably want to have that up before the next big team fight breaks out, which will definitely be relatively soon because the Dyer are going to go ahead and push down his bottom tower. Meepo. Meepo just poofing everywhere, poofing all over the place, and he's going to go ahead and kill his tower. Uh, the Radiant are going to be around here to push it back, and Pugna, thro Pugna throws Radiant out the Nether Ward in a very, very smart spot. So now Nigma's losing lose his mana, and Nigma doesn't care. He blinks forward, he throws out the uh, stun on top of somebody. I didn't see who it was. Aurora throwing on top of, um, throwing on top of Nigma. That kind of signals that this fight has begun. There's a pipe, pipe thrown out by somebody, pipe thrown out by Darkseer, maybe a little bit too early. He's trying to go for the kill on top of Panda. I'm oh, sorry, he's trying to go for the kill on top of Meepo. Meepo does have ages, but it doesn't matter. The faster you can pop it, the better. And there we go, so much being done. I, I think that was a black hole with nobody in it. Or maybe it's just a black hole waiting for Meepo. I don't really know. Regardless, uh, Enigma goes down. I'm getting a lot of lag. I hear Witch Doctor Ulti. I heard somebody get hit, caught by it. I see a little bit of damage happening to Talon Silencer. I'm pretty sure I wasn't lagging. Silencer was just moving that slow. And there we go. Everything's blowing up. A lot of damage being done. Meepo doing a lot of magic damage with that proof. Proof is ridiculous, guys. And that fight definitely went in favor of, obviously, the Dire. Nobody died on this side. Um, I honestly think that Beastmaster Roar was a little bit too early, but it doesn't really matter. Um, meanwhile, we got Panda on that backside. Panda did ulti. He will be able to get the kill on top of Beastmaster, but he will be losing his life as a result. There's a dust thrown out by um, Brewmaster because he wants to make sure he knows where that Ranger is. Make sure he sees if he can juke, but it doesn't matter. He goes down. And that's a team wipe. And now the high ground tower shall be sieged. There's a bunch of meatballs here. They're ready to kill everything. Radiant structures are fortified. They did uh, recently increase the fortify by one second. So instead of being four second fortified, it's five second fortified. So maybe I'll buy him enough time, but no, it doesn't really matter. Meepo still doing a lot of damage. Weaver doing a lot of damage. Weaver has his MKB. He's just going to go up to the shop and pick it on up. Okay, no, he's decided not to. And a net. <laughs> a beautiful net throw by Meepo at, at far range, catching that, catching that Brewmaster. 
Radiant's top tower is under attack. Meanwhile, the top tower for Radiant is getting pushed in. These are basically creeps pushing themselves, so they definitely need to respond to that as well. As uh, these guys down here, will Meepo be, be building an Agon of Scepter is a big question. Right now, Meepo has 3,700 gold. I don't know if he can be building it. Meepo's going to permanent this Brewmaster, and Brewmaster's getting annoyed as crap. He's going to go ahead and run away while he can. Jorwin's just doing a lot of damage, but not enough damage. She does not have that big item yet. She has a BKB. She decided to build a BKB instead of a instead of a butterfly like a column. So I was definitely wrong on that aspect. But all that aside, she has a BKB, so she's able to stay alive a little bit longer, avoid possibly well no, just really avoid that witch doctor, avoid that silencer, avoid that uh dark seer and avoid that panda stun or disables or whatever you want to call them. Stuff that interrupts her, stuff that gets on her nerves. The only thing she can't dodge is or the only thing she can't prevent is that a name of black hole. Actually she Technically speaking, she can prevent that too. All she has to do is just not get caught in it. But that is much easier said than done, especially when you're not the one playing Enigma. I swear, if I'm playing Enigma, I can catch nobody in the black hole. But if somebody else is playing Enigma, I just, I just like, like, I'm in my base and they catch me in the black hole in their middle lane. I'm like, what the heck? I'm not even there. They catch me in the black hole. So, I just had bad experiences with Enigma. That's just me personally. Probably because I'm just bad at Enigma. I'm bad at jungle in general. You, actually, you, you guys seen the video? Of me playing Enigma, it was a very, very beautiful video. Thank you. I was proud of that play. We definitely, definitely, definitely had a nice game that game. Because I don't really want to spoil anything. Uh, I think you guys should go watch it. Anyway, moving on. <clears throat> we see that there's a gem, there's another gem on the side of the, the radiant. Finally, there's a gem on top of Panda, so they'll be able to catch up to that weave. They'll be able to catch up to that draw ranger whenever they go away. Uh, as far as other big items out on the map, not really anything. Uh, BKB on Enigma. That's really the biggest thing. A uh, pipe. There's a pipe on both sides. Finally, so Meepo has a pipe. He's able to keep all his illusions alive. Will he be, will he be building an Aghanim Scepter? Is a big question. Uh, Aghanim Scepter creates more problems. It also creates more uh, kill pot kill potential for that Meepo. And let me go and take a look at the levels because Meepo is level 21, which is actually quite ridiculous. If you take a look at the levels, we'll see that Meepo is definitely at the top of that. The only person close to him on the side of the rating is that Silencer, but Silencer hasn't really been able to farm. They're gonna go ahead and go for smoking. Will they be able to find anybody? I don't really know. Usually, when uh, whenever a big smoke gang happens, uh, <laughs> the person casting it usually gets a little bit quieter because because they want to stay out, sound secretive. They don't, they don't want to give anything away. So so these guys are walking the smoke gang. They're trying to get closer. They're trying to see who they can find. Who will they find? I don't really know. We got a DC coming from Joe Ranger. Will they get a pause soon? We'll probably get a pause soon. I'm not really sure. Yeah, this guy's gonna walk into the ancient, and we get a pause from the radiant. Sorry, from the Meepo on the dire side. So. All that said, uh, let's see. God, look at that gold graph. Gold graph diving straight back towards the dire. Uh, this is really just because of those kills. Uh, I think that big, yeah, that big team fight, that team wipe over in the backside. It definitely, definitely shot things way back towards the dire. Um, this right here was all. I mean, the the graph was going back and forth a little bit. Of tug of war, up and up and around this area, a little bit of tug of war going back and forth. Kills for kill, or they're going blow, blow for blow. But this this part down here definitely set it off, and definitely uh, with everybody. Hold on, who has the who has the most net worth? Weaver has the most net worth, really. I thought Meepo would have the most net worth. Okay. Oh, Meepo. Wait, no. Why? Why does Meepo not have the most net worth? I am confused. Is it splitting Meepo's go between all five of them? Let's see, Meepo has a Vlad's. Okay. He has a Vlad's, Tranquil Boots, Magic Wand, Pipe, and a Mechanism. I'm pretty sure that adds up to way more than four thousand two hundred and sixty-eight. Because Vlad's, right, Vlad's by itself is half of that. Uh, Pipe is probably the other half of that. So I think Meepo's gold is, or Meepo's net worth is being split between his four Meepos. So that means he has 1,600 gold, which is actually pretty quite ridiculous. But I still think that's a bug. They might need to fix that soon. That's actually kind of cool. That's part of that. Heck yeah. I'm a trendsetter, guys. I'm going to do like a bug report and say, hey, Val, fix this, bro. And they'll be like, no, shut up and go home. And I'll be like, oh, And I'm just be sad. Cause you don't make Valve mad, guys. If you make Valve mad, they'll shut down your they'll shut down your database. Lols. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Moving on to more things relevant to the game. Uh, we can see. Uh, I'm just going to take a long look at the items. Uh, Witch Doctor doesn't really have much of anything. He's trying to build himself something to stay alive. He built that bracer. Uh, really nothing outside of that. He's been buying the wars for his team. He's buying, been buying all, all the detection as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Silent on the other hand, still trying to build himself that sheep stick. Sheep stick's so useful for him, especially versus a Weaver, especially versus a Joe Ranger, and probably versus a Meepo. I'm not really sure how useful it is versus a Meepo, but whatever. Uh, moving on to the Enigma. Enigma, like I said, he only has Blink Dagger. 
Blink Dagger, BKB, so nothing really big on him. Uh, he also has a Medallion of Courage, which actually helps him out a lot when you talk about those Eidolons. Eidolons do a lot of physical damage, and if you have, if you have like, negative armor on top of you, they do even more damage, of course, because... Well, the less armor you have, the more physical damage you take, really. Uh, we got we got a reconnect coming from Jordan, so this game will be going right back in. Um, I think the only other big item to talk about, really, is just the Hyperstone up on Beastmaster. Beastmaster looking to build an AC for his team, and also MKB following on Weaver and a Manta style, so he's attacking like a truck right now. Uh, to, let's just see how much damage he'll do in this next big team fight. Um, meanwhile, we got Weaver. Oh, never mind. We got Weaver pushing out his bottom tower. They need the responses. Weaver is going to go straight for that back door. Will he, be, will he be able to get it in time? I don't really know. Uh, we got a TP. We got a TP response coming in from the darks here. Uh, we also got a TP response coming in from the silencer. These guys want to make sure that Meepo doesn't get in too close. So Meepo's not Meepo. Weaver. Weaver was able to get one tower, which is one tower too many. And now we got the rest of the dire side, uh, re rest of the radiant side coming on the back side. Who has a gem? I think Panda has a gem. He's saying Weaver's taking a lot of damage. He's going to ulti back, and he's able to get out almost just alive. He's trying to run. He's trying to juke all he can, but Panda, like I said, Panda has that gem. He can find him where he is at. Just as long as he can keep up with them. But Weaver moving a little bit too fast. Trying to see this rune up here. But no rune for him. He's going to juke around the backside. See if he can go back in for those racks. Because that is a naked set of racks. And now the rest of Dire are just hanging out. Trying to see if they can wait for Roshan. Roshan will be back up in another three minutes. And these guys are going to go ahead and go for these Ancients. Or sorry, Meepo is going to go ahead and go for these Ancients. He wants more gold. Because he doesn't enjoy being at the bottom. Which I think is a misrepresentation of his farm. Because Meepo definitely has more farm than that, guys. Come on, come on, Valve. What the heck? Okay, not Val, but but I mean that's that's, that's a little glitch because Meepo definitely has more than 108 gold per minute. Sorry, 108, 100 and he he's built an Agon Scepter, yes. No, no Agon Scepter. Okay, he's built a heart. I don't understand what's going on with this net worth graph. Uh, it's, it's definitely freaking out on top of the Meepo. But anyway, he built himself a heart so he can stay alive. It's actually a good and bad thing. One, if they're if the Radiant are paying uh, close enough attention, they'll be able to figure out which Meepo's real Meepo. Uh, anyway, uh, Panda's taking a lot of damage from the Weaver. Weaver, I'm oh, sorry, Weaver's taking a lot of damage. Taking a lot of damage out of this panda, but Panda has his ulti. He can't use that if he has to. And there's a sheep on top of there's a sheep on top of Weaver. Weaver goes down. Proof is not what Weaver signed up for. Let's take a look at the buyback status because that's probably the most important thing. Silencer does get we do get a DC on Silencer. Silencer will be getting or his team will be pausing for him to wait for him. Uh, Wish Doctor did in fact pause, and I'm gonna continue looking at these items because uh, there we go. As far as the rest of the items go, Sheep stick up on Silencer, so Silencer can, oh, as you saw, he finally used it, he used it on top of the Weaver, able to help his team get that kill, otherwise Weaver might have been able to get away. Although, there, there was a surge placed on top of Panda, so Panda can keep vision of him, so, and not really too sure what could have resulted if there was no Sheep stick. Um, Heart up on Meepo, so Meepo, the main Meepo at least, can stay alive, also that 25, uh, that 25 strength that comes from the Heart is going towards the rest of the Meepos as well, one thing to consider. Uh, as far as everybody else, Drone just building up that Yashi, so she's getting ready for that Manta style, so she can start doing a lot of damage just like Weaver can. Hopefully, she can do a lot more, a little bit more damage because, uh, I mean, she's a Drone Ranger. Drone Ranger gets an additional 80 agility at max level, or uh, with her ulti at max level, when she's at the appropriate range. So, she can do a lot of damage. That's, that's pretty darn good. 80 freaking agility. That's ridiculous. And there's a, whoa, God. Hey, somebody knows me. Okay. <laughs> See guys, I'm famous now. Oh, he can't hear me. That's sad. Oh, that makes me feel bad. See you, spectator chat. Alright, spectator chat is on. Nope, no spectator chat. This meepo is so uncool, hero. Yeah, meepo takes a lot of micro. Uh, you have to be able to just take your take your time with each each clone and able to do it at faster times. But if 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 you're able to micro everything, you you pretty much a good meepo, but it's still pretty difficult to do everything. <clears throat> Says can catch you in a web, man. <laughs> I think he's trolling. I'm pretty sure he's just trolling. All right, just took myself a drink of my room temper temperature water. Excuse me. But anyway, uh, we saw Weaver go down mainly because of sheep stick. <clears throat> And really, nothing much else is going on around the map. Uh, can't really think of what. Okay, Meepo just blinked out, or Meepo just poofed out. He was baiting. Uh, he did. He did uh, initiate the blink from Enigma. Enigma was trying to blink and see if he can try to catch the Meepo before he got away. But it wasn't fast enough. 
Uh, meanwhile, up top, we got draw range with the, with the illusions. Those are not, not just yet, Manta style. Just basically, she found herself a loser. She's gonna go ahead and push this lane. Because her illusions do a lot of damage. Because she does a lot of damage. Why not? I think her illusions do... 180, 32% of that. So 32% of 180 is still a lot of damage. Relatively speaking, for illusions. I mean, illusions doing 70 damage. That's still ridiculous. So anyway, Beastmaster is up here. He's just trying to scout out everything, see what he can find. He throws out the hawk, and I think they might have seen the hawk. They might know where it's going. They're going to go ahead and hunt the hawk. Hunt the hawk. Oh my god, vacuum catches the beast mouth. I'm pretty sure it's not what they really wanted. He's going to have the roar to get out of here. <laughs> a beautiful vacuum by him, and now, now Beast is in a little bit bad spot. He's going to blink away. Uh, we got the Dark Seed chasing him with the surge, and Dark Seed is trying to go for the kill. But very lucky vacuum indeed. Uh, beast mouth just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Now, meanwhile, Roshan will be up in a few seconds. We're going to go ahead and watch this drop since nothing else is going on on my map. Let's see. Come on. Three, two, one, zero, point five. Happy New Year! <laughs> and there goes Roshan, so Meepo's gonna go ahead and start taking that on. And there comes a Blinks in, or sorry, there comes a Poofs in from the other Meepo. Other Meepos, and here comes Weaver to follow up. Is it five Meepos yet? It is not five Meepos. He's deciding not to go for the Agnes after. You don't necessarily have to go for Agnes after a Meepo, but it's just more fun when you do. And I see Blinks all around. Enigma blinked forward, and Beastmaster blinked away. Beastmaster throws out another roar. He almost caught Pain inside that roar. I've been cool if you would have caught him, caught him inside that, but he will be losing his life. Uh, it, unless he can try to get away, will he be able to dodge damage? But no, no, he's not able to. He's trying to TP out. He's almost able to get away, and he goes down to the Enigma. Enigma with that clutch blink in forward. Uh, but B Festival would have waited maybe a little bit longer. He was, he would have been able to blink blink forward a little bit and then TP away, and they would have never been able to find him. All that aside, the middle tower will be getting pushed. Silence is in a little bit of trouble. He does have that sheep stick, so he can't just turn around and use that on Weaver. Weaver has a mantis style, so he's ready for any fight that comes around him. But except only the only thing about being uh, sheeped up is when you're sheeped up, you can't use your island items. You are doomed. So he kind of has to just take the doom or take the sheep and just walk away. Actually, it's, it's not. It doesn't turn into a sheep anymore. It turns into a pig. But it still doesn't take away the fact that it's a sheep stick. I mean, look at it. It looks like a sheep, right? Actually, no. It, look, it looks kind of looks like a swine. It looks like a swan. That's what it looks like. It's a swan stick. So we shall name it swan stick, guys. So Silencer has that swan stick. Now, okay, that's too, that's too many syllables. That's too difficult to say. <clears throat> and we got massive TPs coming back from the radio. They want to defend this middle tower. They don't want to lose a high ground tower because losing your high ground tower is basically losing the game. And these and they've already lost their bottom set of racks and tower. They, all, they lost their top tower. They do not want to lose these bottom this middle one. They want to hold on to these things. Look at that. Look at that beautiful building. They want to hold on to that. Speaking of which, um, oh my god, Pugna has a, whoa, okay, okay, Pugna has a Manta style, so we got a Manta style Pugna, we got a Manta style Weaver, I think we're gonna see Carry Pugna soon, nah, if, if it was Carry Pugna, we see the E-Blade, oh my god, it's beautiful ulti coming from Enigma, and everybody's getting hit with the abilities uh, from that Pugna Nether War, everybody's getting hit with that, uh, Pugna tried to force step himself away, but it was, wasn't enough, Wish Sox with the beautiful ulti, and I'm getting lagged at the right perfect time, Meepo goes down, but he has Aegis, uh, he comes back up. Where is he at? There he is. He's all right there. And there's a uh, whoa, guys. Sounds is in the wrong spot. Sounds gets poofed to death. And now <laughs> Meepo's gonna just gonna walk away like a boss. He throws out a net. See if he can catch him by. I don't think he'll be able to catch him by. Wish Sox is calling the bad side. Uh, here's a here is a uh, his brewmaster and company walking on the back side. They're gonna get they're gonna get the kills on Meepo. But Meepo definitely uh, making Silencer pay for trying to stand in the spot where he spawns. And now Beastmaster trying to run for his life. Will he be able to make it out? I don't think so. Uh, Brewmaster is hot on his tail, and he'll be catching up. He has those space boots. He also had, I think he had the search from No, uh, Dark Sea wasn't there. Doesn't really matter. Triple kills on the panda. And this, this things are looking pretty darn bad. Uh, you, as you, as it usually is with all these games. Uh, yeah, you can say yeah, this is a hard carry. This guy carries harder than that person. But it doesn't really matter how hard you can carry. It just depends on when you on when you decide to die. Uh, if you die at the late point of the game, which these guys have decided to die at the late point of the game, uh, it doesn't really matter what kind of team you team composition you have. You can just push all the towers because it'll take them 70 hours to come back alive. And these guys are going are going to go ahead and take advantage of it. They're going to try to push down this middle tower. Although Meepo and company are finally here. Meepo did buy back so he can stay alive. Uh, so he can protect, protect his tower. He's going to poof as many times as he can to kill all those creeps. And that ends the aggression. As far as what Pugna's going to do, I don't really know. He can probably find himself a panda, but panda can just blink away. Yeah, panda will blink away. And Meepo does poof mid. Illusion. When will you be building the egg in receptor puck or Meepo? I want to see eggs. That'll be fun. Anyway, as far as items going for everybody else, we see uh, Blink Dagger on Panda, Blink Dagger on Enigma. I don't think Panda had that Blink Dagger earlier. 
But anyway, oh, oh god, I heard something. I heard something get down on top of somebody, and now these guys will be going in on top of these panda losers. Panda losers all go down handily. Uh, Meepo threw a net somewhere. I don't think it hit anything. Not really sure where he threw it, but it didn't hit anything, so it didn't matter. And now these guys will be continuing this push mid. They can definitely do that. Pugna's so good at pushing early game, but not really late game. But still, still his uh, nether blast killing all the creep waves, like you see right there. All that damage going to all those creep waves. It even works on siege creep, so it's freaking OP. It works on towers as well. Mantis style thrown down by by the Weaver, and there's a uh, there's a Pugna throwing down the ward. So he can do a lot of damage to everybody. Beastmaster blinks in and throws out the roar on top of Sansa. Sansa in a little bit of trouble. He does his ulti. He will be using that as soon as he can. BKB activated by Dro and... No, just by Weaver. And here's Enigma with the BKB of his own. A lot of damage being done to Weaver. Weaver goes down pretty darn fast. He went down faster than Kunkka's ship. And there's this team. The Radiant going to go ahead and push off this momentum. They have some illusions from the Radiant saying thank you for those, bro. And they're going to go ahead and push with those. Okay, Darkseer decides... Come on, come on, Darkseer. 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 Darkseer, you, um, your illusions, your illusions, Darkseer, your illusions. There you go. These things look cool. Look at them. They're, they're all flashy, shiny. Look at that. It's like it's like Radiant's a cool looking Jaw Ranger. That's cooler than the original looking Jaw Ranger. It's like Jaw Ranger 3.0, man. I want one. They should make a skin for that. Anyway, uh, Panda gets killed top somewhere. Oh god, sorry about that. Uh, Panda gets a kill on top of on top of Pugna. So Pugna went down. He, uh, Panda actually almost went down as a case, or as a result of that. He does have his ulti, so he could have used it if he really needed to. So he was really in no danger of dying, especially to a Pugna, because Pugna doesn't really have all his hard disabled, so he can't stop the Brewmaster from splitting. Anyway, uh, we see Beastmaster trying to go in for the Enigma. He does have his roar up. He's trying to see if he can catch him. The Enigma's going to blink him away. He can't, but net throw my net throw my Meepo. And there's an ulti throw my Beastmaster. Make sure he gets his range on top of him. Enigma goes down. So many poofs. So many poofs, and everything goes down. So how does the world end? The world ends in poofs, guys. Not anything else. Anyway, Meepo throwing his net, stopping the creep waves. He's going to go ahead and poof forward so he can get all the kills on top of that. Very good micro on his part. Meanwhile, up top, we got an engager. We got Witch Doctor. He has himself a, e or, he has himself a ghost episode, so he can try to run away. It says, Rebuy, can I friend you? Well, it says, Buy friends. And now we got the push continue of it. So uh, as, as far as what else is going on on the map, I mean, we can take a look at the gold graph. We're going to see it's in favor of the Dire, mainly because of those last team fights. It is uh, swiping back up towards the Radiant's favor, probably because it's because those few kills that they had or that the Dire had when they were trying to push in. So you can see that all these kills right here definitely helped the when well, no, us. These few kills speckled around there definitely Radiant's helped the Radiant come back in towards the top, but not really. So, I mean, n nothing much to help him out all that much. I think Meepo is still the highest as far as the net worth goes, even though we'll see him at the bottom because he's being split between all his illusions, or all his clones. So, that's something to consider. That's definitely still a bug. That's still a weird bug, because Meepo is definitely not the brokest person on the map. Uh, Witch Doctor is not richer than Meepo. Not by not by the stretch. Not by stretch of imagination. Anyway, there's a Pugna throwing out the Mantis style to send out the illusions. Why not? Because Mantis style illusions are OP and now, oh my gosh, here's Panda. Panda has his ulti. Panda trying to wait for the perfect moment to use it. Uh, meanwhile, we got Split Push going. We got Weaver. We got Weaver Draw Range at top. There's a Central War place over here, so now Weaver's in a little bit of trouble. He gets silenced up. He gets sheeped up, and there's ulti coming from England. He almost caught the Draw Range. If he would have caught her, she would have been going down as well. Meanwhile, the middle tower did go down, and I think we will be seeing these middle racks go down. Me yeah, Meepo net just barely missing. Radiance middle tower. And there's Weaver being mad, saying, really? Uh, Panda's going to see what he can go for. He can't catch. He cannot catch himself on Meepo. Meepo is so, so freaking evasive uh, with those poofs. It's basically a base of maneuvers, and I think it's five. No, come on, come on, Meepo, build, build an aggro stuff here. That'll be fine. Uh, Meepo has cheese on his person, so he's able to use that to keep himself alive. Meanwhile, we got we got somebody getting chased top. We got Jorange getting chased top. She has herself. She um, she is dusted up. I think Panda has a gym. Yes, Panda does have a gym, so there's no ch chance of her getting away. So she goes down. She buys back instantly. Meanwhile, Beastmaster and Meepo and all his clones, or all his uh, originals, are going to go ahead and push this. And Panda gets caught up and everything. Panda splits. So he's gonna go ahead and go and see if he can get a kill on top of anybody that oh my god, so much damage being done. Panda Panda might die in ulti form, which would be pretty darn bad. Uh, so many poops coming in, so much damage being done back and forth. Meepo's about to go down. Meepo does have cheese, so he can't use it if he has to. There goes cheese. No, no, there goes the mechanism. He doesn't use cheese fast enough, and he goes down. If he would have used cheese, he definitely would have been definitely winning that fight. Uh, Silencer goes down to the Pugna, Pugna able to get a kill on top of that. And we got Earth or we got Panda's ulti about to run out. Panda's ulti will be running out on top of the Storm Spirit. 
And now Panda's in a little bit of trouble. He's getting caught up by Jordan. He's getting caught by everybody else. A buyback from somebody. A buyback from Weaver. Weaver won't stay in. He has those boosted shots, so he's able to jump in. Sounds just ulti is on cooldown. Ulti from Darkseid is on cooldown. Panda's ulti is on cooldown. So there's not really anything these guys can do to push it back. And this will be a set of racks. And possibly a set of top racks. And possibly the final push. Oh my gosh. Beautiful vacuum by Darkseid. Doing so much damage. And everybody's taking a lot of damage. Here's uh, Meepo. Not Meepo. Here's an, who's that? That was Weaver. Here's Weaver getting turned to a sheep. And Jesus, that was a lot of damage. Are you kidding me? Did you see how much damage that was? What, what, where did that damage come from? I'm trying to figure that out. Was, is Wall hitting that hard? Wall is hitting that hard, guys. Wall is hitting... Uh, that was actually probably a combination of Wall and Clap. So, it was a wall... Uh, sorry, Vacuum Wall Clap. So the wall is still up uh, still up from when Darkseer died again, because I think Darkseer did buy back so he can go for those kills. But even still, that was a pretty freakish amount of damage in such a little bit amount of time. Okay, Darkseer didn't go down at all, so, so that was a fresh wall and a fresh... Yeah, that was, that was a fresh wall and a fresh vacuum. All that aside, Meepo is still alive. He still has that cheesy. He can, he can still use that if he really needs to. Uh, he definitely needs to consider that, especially in the next team fight. And this middle tower will be going down to the rating. Uh, the rating is going to continue to push. They're going to go for the victory march as fast as they can. Uh, they have somebody back at home. They have Witch Doctor back at home, but I don't think he's enough to defend. All he can really do is throw out a casket and pray pray to Jesus or somebody. Pray to whoever he believes in. Pray to Buddha or whoever that these guys back away. These guys shoot away. We got TP coming in from somebody. TP coming in from South, from Darkseer. Darkseer's going to back and forth. He gets, he gets roared as soon as he comes in. Ulti from Witch Doctor was out of range. Uh, okay, he didn't even ulti. He he throws on a Maledict on top of somebody. It doesn't really matter. Uh, ulti from him will be up. There's the ulti from Wistock. Come on, Wistock the ulti. He's going to go for the kill on top of Beastmaster. Beastmaster goes down. There's ulti thrown on top of him. Or thrown on top of Pugna. Pugna taking a lot of damage. And a follow up ulti from Enigma catching nobody <laughs> but creeps. And uh, meanwhile, Sans is going in on top of this Meepo. He might be able to get the kill on Meepo. No, Meepo, so many poofs. Yes, he does get the kill on Meepo. Meepo going down. Meepo could have potentially saved his life once again with that cheese if he would have just used that cheese fast enough. But he decided not to. He thought he, he thought he could get the kill before he went down. But yes, cheese is very helpful when you use it, guys. Um, Meepo would have definitely, like I said, won that fight. Uh, Sansa was focused on the right one. If I do remember correctly, which I hope I remember correctly. Otherwise, eh, I'm wrong. Go figure. So anyway, as far as items go, because items are getting pretty big, everybody, almost everybody has boots of travel. Boots of travel on silencer, boots of travel up on uh, Enigma. These guys want to make sure they have that up. Roshan is back up. Jordan's is going to go ahead and start on it. See if she can go for a kill on top of that. She does have a Chrysalis. She's trying to build herself a Daedalus. There's a Roar thrown on top of Beastmaster, so, or Brewmaster, so Beastmaster can try to get away. He does have a Blink Dark, so he can't blink forward. Radiant He's trying to bait it out a little bit. Oh no, he gets hit. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Beastmaster, run. Run, be special, run! There you go. He blinks forward. He's able to get out. He's trying to bait the fight out. He's trying to keep these guys from checking the Roshan pit. Because uh, Pugna and Jorange just killed Roshan. Jorange is going to pick it up. She picked up Cheese on accident. There goes Cheese on top of Pugna. So it's two sets of Cheese on the map right now. Meepo has a Cheese and Pugna has a Cheese. Will these guys be going for the kill? Manta style on both sides. I think it was Manta style by Jorange and Manta style by Pugna used. I, I, I heard it. I don't think I saw it. Anyway, uh, four stat four on top of Pugna. Pugna wants to get into the middle of this. He's trying to get away. He's trying to run as fast as he can. He's trying to bait these guys out. He gets stunned up. He uses the cheese to try to stay alive. But it doesn't matter. He's taking so much damage from everybody else. He gets followed up. All the follow up damage. Uh, meanwhile, who's around the corner? Who's this? Weaver's around the corner. Jorange did go down. So Aegis is popped. A uh, really haphazard use of Aegis. I think Panda has his ulti. Uh, Panda has his ulti. Things are really dangerous. Pretty much everybody on the side of Radiant had their ult except for Enigma, so this next team fight is going to be huge for these guys. Uh, Beastmaster gets roar, or Beastmaster gets stunned up by the Malphys. There's a Silent Storm by Silencer. There's an ulti from Panda. These guys are going to go in this fight. Whoever wins this fight will win the game. A lot of damage being done on top of who's this Meepo? Meepo uses the cheese. Finally, he's able to get away, so he'll be able to survive. And here's uh, Weaver coming around the backside to make sure that Meepo stays alive. Uh, Weaver gets stunned up. There's a gem on top of the Panda Spirit. Of oh, the middle spirit, so he has that true side or a lot of damage being done back and forth. Sounds finally goes down. Meepo goes, or not Meepo, Weaver goes down, and Meepo comes back in with all his elusive. He's trying to do as much damage as he can. He's able to catch the dark scene. Beautiful net by him. He catches the dark scene. A lot of a lot of damage being done to Jorwins, though. Jorwins might be able to, might be losing her life, though. She's able to go and be just in time. And Panda's taking a lot of damage. He finally goes down. Big team fight, huge team fight, triple kill inside of Meepo. Beautiful response on both sides. And things definitely, definitely did pick up. Uh, no buyback for anybody except for Jorans. So these guys are just probably going to go ahead and push these waves and kill everything. There's nobody to defend but the Darkseer. Darkseer is really good at defending. Yes, I'll give him that. And he'll probably be able to use his vacuum wall combination relatively soon. Because by the time this lane finally pushes in, he'll probably have like 20 seconds left on that cooldown. But even still, the push is coming, guys. Winter is coming and sound, or Winter is coming and Darkseer is really the only one to defend against it. Although you can't really defend against women. Or, no, whoa, God, women. You can't really defend against winter. 
All you can do is pray that the uh, children, what is it, children of the forest? Pray that the children of the forest have some spells for the White Walkers. Because White Walkers aren't zombies, guys. Come on now. That was stupid. Anyway, Meepo's gonna go ahead and TP in, blink into the side, and these guys are gonna, uh, that's a Game of Thrones reference, by the way. And these things will be pushing in. Silencer does have buyback, so he's able to do that. And Meepo's gonna destroy the entire wave, and that's the final set of racks, so Mega Creeps on the side of the Dire. And here's Panda blinking, and Panda's ulti is up in another 23 seconds. I don't think he'll be able to survive on a big black hole. No, oh my gosh, War from Beastmaster stopping the black hole. Back in coming in from. Vacuum coming in from Darkseid, able to kill everybody. Are you kidding me? So much damage being done back and forth. Ulti from Witch Doctor. I heard it was thrown out. No, it was not thrown out. It doesn't matter. Uh, a lot of damage being done back and forth. And the team fight definitely swung back in favor of the Radiant. Dear God, are you kidding me? So it's one set of tower they have left. It, <laughs> if they if they want to win, they have to push now. Panda's ulti is up for the next big engagement. So now everybody's probably going to heal up and go push. Meepo is down. They need to push while Meepo is down. Joran just back up, so they have to worry about her. Yes, but that's really it. Uh, they, can, they, can, they can definitely deal with the Jorans. It's just one gem or one set of detective. But no, oh my guys, who God. Panda might be going down too. Wow, Panda goes down to Pugna. Big, 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 big um, whiff, to be honest. Uh, Panda didn't want to die. Panda was just trying to push back the wave as far as he could, but he goes down. That's not good at all. His buyback is on cooldown for another four minutes, and his he will be back up in another minute and 30 seconds. So this middle tower will be going down. Definitely Panda going down. De definitely Panda going down. Uh, so ended all chances that the Radiant have of pushing things back, and that's pretty much the end of this game. This is the Ancient going down. Ancient taking a lot of damage. Here is uh, Darkseer walking around the corner. He's getting drained up. And that is Prunes in the Okay, Radiant Structures are fortified. It might stay alive. Radiance Panda might be able to come alive. Go on, Panda. Oh my gosh, beautiful vacuum by Dark Tip. He's taking a lot of damage. Doesn't matter. He goes everything goes down. Anyway, that was a pretty intense game towards the end. That was ridiculous. Uh Agi Heroes on the side. And <laughs> it's a stupid Pugna. <laughs> Pugna with a beautiful pick off on the side of that. Uh, no doubt, him killing Panda definitely, definitely still the victory for his team. So once again, big shout out to Nestle Dota for letting me cast this game. Oh my gosh, rare mask. I want one. I want one. Anyway, so that was uh, my, my name is Cool Blues. But you guys, it's a uh, special cast number two. I'm not sure how how many of these I'll be getting. Probably this will probably be a running series. But anyway, that's the end of that game, and I am out of that. So. God, that was pretty intense. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the game, and I hope this video did come out right because I did have to change my settings again. And all that aside, um, like I said, my name is Cool Blue. I brought you guys a special cast number two. Uh, big shout out to Nestle Dota. Big shout out to all his fan or friends and stuff. Uh, if you guys enjoy his play, definitely check out his Twitch channel. Definitely um, just hang out, just chat with everybody. Uh, he seems like a relatively good player, so I would or I would definitely well probably if I had more time, I would definitely be checking him out. But I gotta worry about uh, keeping my homework in, in check. Speaking of which, I need to go do homework, so I'll see you guys whenever.